So I think the future of mobile advertising is not advertising, but in fact rewarding and giving experiences to consumers that add to what they're already doing in their daily lives. So this could be as they're using their phone, as they're hitting these moments as we like to call them, whether it be leveling up in a game or finishing a run or seeing something really funny that their friends posted. What can a brand then do to greet you and then add value in that moment so that you're not being interrupted, but rather your, your life is actually becoming better? That, I believe, is the future of mobile advertising. So mobile moments really indicate what consumers are doing on a daily basis with their smartphones. And this could be just things that they happen to be doing anyways. And that's the beauty of it. As marketers, we now have to recognize that the consumer has a lot of power. This is just the things that they're doing on their own freedom. And rather than trying to make them go into your experience or to make them download a separate thing or to go to a separate website, just tap into the things that they are already doing that happen to match what you stand for as a brand. So the mobile moment of working out or being healthy is relevant to you as a brand as, for example, Gatorade. That is a perfect fit in how you can start to match brand and moment. So the connected world involves connected devices. And this is anything from your, your phone, which is connected, of course, to your connected car, your connected thermostat, your wearables, anything that has a connection to the internet in real time. What that means for marketers is now we can detect needs in real time because these devices have the ability to know when I'm tired, when I'm working really hard, when I'm about to run out of gas, when my home is really warm or really cold. These are now moments that can be acknowledged and then potentially rewarded by the consumer, by the brand. I think for young entrepreneurs today, it's, it's really just stop thinking about it and just go and do and build and learn. And I have this thing with my team where I always say it's like always be learning because there's never been a generation that is more knowledge enabled, right? You can go on the internet and learn how to code in a few short months and you don't really need anything else. That's really the power of what we have. When you think about, oh, people want their technical co-founders, they want to, you know, need to partner with someone else, you don't really have to in the beginning. You can actually equip yourself. Learn as many of these skills as you can and start to build things and get things just off the ground. And I think finally, building and creating things from scratch is the marquee uh, data point of an entrepreneur. And if you can show that well, people will come and follow you and will want to join your team.